Let's take a look at Danny Ainge's inverted drop pivot into a jump stop for a jump shot. Now, as Danny Ainge catches the basketball, he does a good job of showing his shot, where he's lifting the ball above his eyes to show that he could shoot it. But as we dive into the feet, obviously he can't shoot it because he's dropping back his left foot. Now, the reason why we're calling this an inverted drop pivot is because the ball actually transferred over to his left hand. So as you can see me now, I'm in a more of a, a running stance, but he dropped that left foot back, transferred the ball into his left, so that would be his inverted drop pivot. Once he puts down the basketball, you'll see that his foot actually, his right foot actually lifts up before that ball hits the floor. Now, because that ball is going down in a dribble motion, that foot is actually legal for a dribble step. You'll see a lot of times as I go into a pivot or I try to swipe through that the ball is actually not being placed down before that foot hits. And again, as long as that ball is in motion being put down, that's a legal move. So again, once he catches the ball, he does a good job of showing that shot with his inverted drop pivot. He then picks up that foot, but as that ball is being placed down, allowing him to jump forward into space to take that shot. So what I want you guys to be able to do is have a good sense of good uh, of timing of showing the ball above your eyes as that left foot or that inverted drop pivot happens, then being placed down almost simultaneously with that right foot before you jump stop into your space.